Gentlemen, thank you very much for waiting. We are delighted to have you all here. Now we are ready to resume our seminar program for this NAC breakout speaking track. We'd like to invite Mr. Toshifumi Uesaka, Executive Strategic Specialist, SDN Business Development Division, Telecom Carrier Business Unit, NEC, to talk about NEC Cloud System, NEC SDN, Virtual Data Center Solution. Mr. Wiseke, please. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Toshimi Wesaka. I'm glad to uh, show you the, our uh, brand new solution, which name is NEC Cloud System. Uh, this is the today's agenda. Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, so right now, I have a responsibility for the uh, cloud and the SDN business in, uh, for NEC. And, uh, uh, but uh, uh, previously, my background is uh, uh, I uh, lead a uh, NEC uh, software product uh, to the market. But uh, as you know, the uh, customer uh, won't uh, avoid a vendor lock-in. That means it's very uh, difficult to uh, adapt our NEC software uh, to the customer. So reason why I shift to the OSS business for uh, a customer's demand. Uh, next uh, agenda is uh, activity for uh, open source communities. Uh, NEC uh, joining uh, five major open source community. Uh, since uh, 2000, uh, we joined our uh, uh, Linux Foundation. And then we joined our uh, OpenSec Foundation uh, since 2012. And uh, uh, do you join the today's keynote? Uh, Shibata-san uh, speech uh, as our uh, board members. And uh, uh, next we joined uh, uh, Open Daylight for the SDM uh, since uh, 2013. And uh, uh, right now I belong to the Telecom Carrier uh, Business Unit of NEC. So, uh, we are focusing uh, telecom carrier area also. So we joined the uh, ONOS and the OPNFB community uh, to realize a carrier grade. And uh, uh, we joined the uh, core infrastructure uh, initiative uh, to support the OSS security. Uh, right now, NEC involving uh, activity for OpenSec uh, we have uh, two aspects. Uh, one is a uh, core de developer, and the second one is a, a super integrator. Uh, today, uh, Shibata-san Shibata uh, explained uh, what is a super integrator. Right now, uh, we have uh, eight uh, core developer uh, for eight uh, main components, and uh, uh, regarding super integrator, uh, right now we're apply to NEC cloud service, uh, which is a uh, public cloud uh, presented by NEC. And the uh, uh, second one is uh, uh, apply to uh, on-premise cloud infrastructure, uh, which name is uh, NEC cloud system. Uh, this is the latest uh, situation of the uh, contribution. Uh, right now, we are contributing uh, for the uh, Mitaka next version. Uh, right now, we have uh, 15 developers and uh, uh, we are contributing nine components. And uh, uh, we have uh, eight core developer uh, for eight components. And uh, uh, NEC is our number one contributor in Japan. Uh, this is a uh, Liberty situation. Uh, NEC is a uh, tenth top contributor. Uh, next slide is a uh, overview of NEC Cloud Platform. Uh, left side, uh, this is the NEC Cloud years for the uh, public cloud. Uh, we have two types of uh, uh, cloud environment. Uh, one is a uh, high availability cloud environment, uh, which is uh, presented by uh, VMware. And the uh, second environment uh, for the uh, standard, that is a uh, 
uh, OSS base, uh, open stack base. And the uh, right side, uh, we announced uh, this uh, NEC cloud system uh, 20th October. And then uh, we have uh, two type of uh, on-promise cloud solution. One is a uh, semi-order uh, uh, cloud solution, and the uh, other hand is a ready-made uh, vert uh, vertical appliance uh, for the uh, cloud. And then uh, we can realize a uh, hybrid cloud for the customer. Uh, maybe a customer have a, a two type of uh, system, one is a uh, SOR and one is a uh, SOE. Uh, we can support two type of application based on the, our cloud solution. Uh, this is an activity as a super integrator. Uh, as you know, the uh, super user is very difficult uh, to uh, uh, reach uh, that area. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, common user uh, uh, will be the uh, super user. That activity is uh, very hard, but uh, uh, NEC can support that uh, uh, normal user uh, shift to the super user. That is uh, our NEC's activity as a super integrator. Uh, next slide is a uh, cloud service NEC cloud with us. Uh, this is an overview of NEC cloud platform service. Uh, we have a uh, previously, I mentioned the two types of cloud. One is a standard and uh, one is a HA. And uh, uh, we uh, uh, release uh, uh, this uh, cloud environment uh, last April. And uh, we have uh, uh, knowledge uh, how to use our, uh, OpenStack for this cloud environment. And then uh, we uh, keep the this knowledge, and then uh, we will uh, establish an uh, on-promise uh, cloud solution as an NEC cloud system. Uh, if you will uh, adopt uh, our cloud solution uh, on your environment, uh, you can realize such kind of uh, cloud service. Definitely, we can support that. Uh, 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 VM provisioning, and uh, uh, you need uh, some storage backup service, and the uh, resource management service, and the uh, network service, and the uh, operation and the security. Uh, such kind of service can be uh, used if you will adopt uh, our solution. Uh, next slide is uh, on-premise cloud infrastructure, uh, which name is uh, uh, NVC Cloud System. Uh, this is the target area of NEC cloud system. Uh, we have a uh, three uh, customer segment. Uh, one is a uh, telecom carrier customer for NFBI infrastructure. And the second one is a service provider. And the third one is an enterprise uh, information system, something. Uh, as you know, the, uh, that area is a quite different area. But uh, we got uh, uh, several RFI and RFP. Almost common requirement uh, from uh, each area. But uh, some specific area uh, is there. For example, in every case, uh, user need to uh, realize a carrier grade. And the service provider's case, user need some chargeback capability. Such kind of way. Uh, we can, uh, NEC will provide uh, uh, such kind of common requirement uh, function and uh, some uh, specific function for each customer uh, areas. So uh, we will support a uh, uh, building block solution. Uh, if a uh, user want to realize, uh, uh, want to establish a uh, user's cloud environment, that's case. Uh, maybe some requirements are different for each. So uh, we can get a such kind of requirement, and then we try to build uh, for a uh, uh, cloud environment from user's demand. 
Uh, this is a for example, enterprise and the service provider and the telecom carrier uh, the needs a little bit different, but we can provide uh, such kind of uh, user to demand uh, something like this. Uh, next slide is our uh, NEC cloud system offering. Uh, we have our uh, three type of uh, two service and uh, uh, one support service. And first of all, uh, we will provide an integration service to build a, a cloud uh, environment. Uh, user can choose multi vendor server storage network, and uh, uh, user want to uh, request a uh, uh, NEC will support a uh, cloud uh, uh, infrastructure. And then, uh, uh, especially point, uh, technology vendor just support a, uh, such uh, cloud environment. It's, uh, but the NEC have a uh, cloud uh, operation knowledge. That means we uh, provide a, a operation design also. If uh, NEC will uh, provide that uh, OSS-based cloud infrastructure to the customer, uh, we can support uh, some uh, managed service if user need. And then uh, we will adopt uh, uh, not only OpenStack OSS, but also the other OSS. But uh, NEC can support a single window to support uh, uh, every OSS. Uh, next slide is the uh, architecture of the NEC cloud system. Uh, we published this architecture uh, last November. Uh, this is a map uh, to the, uh, our architecture. Uh, we uh, realize uh, no vendor locking and uh, uh, contribute additional code to OSS. Uh, as you know, uh, OpenStack uh, realize a uh, uh, provisioning capability, uh, but uh, uh, OpenStack don't have uh, any monitoring and uh, uh, management capability. Uh, we add uh, other uh, OSS to realize such kind of monitoring and management. For example, Zabbix and the ELK and the Bacula, uh, such kind of OSS can be adapted to our solution. And uh, uh, NEC is uh, uh, one of uh, SDN uh, provider. Uh, right now, we are contributing SDN solution to the open daylight, and uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, use case uh, by uh, our product, which name is a programmable flow. Uh, next slide is a map to the NFV architecture. Uh, as you know, we provide uh, NFV infrastructure by NEC Cloud System. NEC Cloud System covers a uh, uh, beam and the NFVI area. Uh, next slide is a uh, uh, user have some concern if a uh, user will adopt an OSS-based uh, cloud environment. For example, why is a uh, CAPEX OPEX, and the second one is a, uh, mission critical, and the third one is a support and the security of OSS. NEC have a, uh, some solution for such uh, users' concern. One is that uh, we have a, uh, our public cloud environment. We have already uh, verified the uh, OSS combination by our uh, cloud service. And the second one is the operation automation uh, by SDN. And the mission critical, uh, NEC have a lot of know-how to uh, uh, integrate uh, some mission critical system. And the third one is that we can support uh, 24 hours, seven days uh, support, and uh, we, can fix, uh, we can provide a uh, hot fix patch, and uh, we are so, uh, we prepared uh, some cr uh, cloud security solution as well. Uh, this is, a, for example, uh, as I mentioned, we have already adopted uh, uh, this 
OSS-based uh, cloud environment to our public cloud. Uh, this is a fact uh, 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 number of uh, cost reduction. Uh, we can uh, uh, be successful to reduce uh, uh, TCO uh, 60 percent. How to realize do that? Uh, why is uh, 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 I don't know, uh, we uh, adopt the OSS, that means uh, uh, we can reduce the uh, license fee. And uh, uh, NEC is one of uh, hardware vendor. Uh, we prepared uh, some high density uh, uh, server and the storage. And the third one is uh, SDN. And the fourth one is uh, automat uh, automation. Uh, such kind of way, uh, we, we can be successful to reduce uh, uh, TCO. Uh, next slide is a uh, rapid integration of the uh, cloud environment. Uh, we prepared uh, uh, some uh, template for design, and uh, uh, we have some uh, automation tool uh, to uh, integrate uh, uh, ES environment, and uh, uh, we have some uh, test tool to reduce uh, this duration of the uh, integration. Next slide is uh, NAC have uh, open mission critical knowledge. Uh, bottom box, uh, that is a non-function requirement from the customer. One is availability, one is uh, performance, and the scalability, confidentiality, uh, cooperability, operability. Uh, such kind of non-function uh, non requirement also user request NAC to realize. Uh, I don't know that uh, OSS uh, have some ban, but user cannot allow to uh, down the uh, quality. How to uh, realize, how to achieve the, that quality? NEC uh, have uh, eight core developer and 15 develop, uh, developer. And then right now we are including a number of this engineer to support uh, such uh, OSS. So uh, we analyze the code and uh, uh, we evaluate uh, that OSS. And uh, uh, I don't know, uh, some function or uh, some configuration will be required uh, to achieve the some uh, quality or capability. Uh, we uh, prepared uh, some uh, configurations uh, guide or some integrations guide for the uh, system integration. Uh, such kind of way, uh, we can uh, provide uh, high availability and a high performance uh, system for the customer. Next one is our, uh, improving uh, quality and advanced support. Uh, we uh, adopt a uh, uh, Red Hat uh, OpenStack platform. Uh, we have uh, uh, over the 10 years uh, collaboration with uh, uh, Red Hat, and then uh, we provide uh, uh, advanced mission critical support to the customer. So we have a lot of knowledge uh, how to realize uh, uh, mission critical uh, support. So uh, NEC will be a single uh, uh, window to support uh, every OSS, and then uh, we can support uh, 24 hours, seven days uh, uh, support, and uh, uh, we can uh, provide a, a bug fix if some critical issue might be there. Uh, next slide is the uh, uh, cloud security uh, measures. Uh, we uh, define a four segment. One is for platform, one is for tenant, and then we need to take care of the uh, two uh, uh, situation. One is uh, for attacks from the outside, and uh, one is for uh, internal security uh, threats. Uh, we prepared uh, uh, such kind of cloud or security solution. Uh, next slide is uh, uh, how to satisfy, uh, satisfy uh, customer demand and uh, uh, contribute to OSS communities. Uh, we got uh, uh, several uh, RFI and RFP. 
and then uh, we uh, extracted a uh, uh, common demand uh, from the customers. Uh, that uh, requirement over the uh, 2000 plus alpha. Uh, this is the uh, actual situation. So uh, two, 2000 requirement we got, and then uh, we uh, try to uh, uh, do the fit and gap. Uh, what's demand may be uh, put by OpenStack or other OSS. Uh, currently, uh, OpenStack just uh, covered a uh, 30% user uh, requirement. Uh, other 17% uh, uh, we need to put as a OSS or uh, we need to uh, enhance uh, some capability to the OpenStack. Uh, for example, uh, uh, user uh, request needs to rea uh, uh, realize uh, uh, some uh, silver, uh, uh, gold, silver, bronze type of uh, ICT resources. Uh, such kind of case, uh, we need to uh, take care of the uh, dynamic code management for uh, each ICT resources. So right now we are contributing such kind of capability to the community. And the uh, uh, third one is uh, uh, SI with other OSS. Uh, for today, we can show you the uh, uh, network appliance situation. Uh, this is a non-function uh, analysis example. Uh, as you know, the uh, OpenStack user uh, message queue, RabbitMQ, uh, something like this. Uh, this is our uh, OpenStack generated exchange and uh, uh, queue on RabbitMQ, like this. It's very complex. But uh, this is a very key component. So uh, that uh, uh, case, we need to take care of the redundancy for this message queue. And uh, uh, if uh, you will uh, adapt uh, OpenStack to uh, uh, default, uh, such case issue for the uh, queue uh, 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 message lost, and uh, uh, if you will uh, uh, take care of the uh, redundancy environment, uh, you need to take care of the split brain situation. Uh, we found that uh, such uh, issue, and then uh, we are uh, contributing uh, such uh, our knowledge uh, to the community. Uh, regarding message lost, uh, mess uh, RabbitMQ have a, a durable option, and the split brain case, uh, RabbitMQ have a, a pause minority mode, something. We uh, found out uh, such kind of issue and the solution, and the we contribute to the community. Uh, the next slide is a dynamic code management. Uh, customer needs a uh, setting different uh, limitation of the uh, codes for each availability zone. Uh, such kind of uh, requirement and uh, uh, discussion might be there, but uh, right now, just discussing uh, that's dynamic code management uh, by Nova project. But that is not enough, because that case, uh, you need uh, some uh, portal to define and uh, manage it. Right now, NEC is proposed uh, this capability uh, top of uh, horizon. Next one is our uh, VNF manager issue. Uh, customer needs uh, provide virtual security appliance uh, as are uh, virtual network functions, uh, V firewall and the V load balancer and the V uh, IDS IPS, uh, V WAF something. Uh, but uh, as you know, the uh, current neutron project uh, uh, not reach to the uh, production level. So uh, this is a challenging. 
uh, Rena, uh, Taka is uh, one of uh, uh, project to realize uh, uh, VNF manager capability. But uh, uh, this Taka is uh, just stuck forge level right now. That means uh, currently a such VNFM capability might not be there as a OSS. But uh, we need to realize such uh, VNF manager's capability uh, into the, our NHC cloud system. Right now, we are evaluating uh, some product uh, to realize uh, this VNF manager, and then uh, we will adopt uh, uh, some virtual appliance uh, network, uh, virtual network functions. Next slide is uh, NHC cloud system support. Uh, we can support the large vendor hardware, and uh, uh, we support the 24 hours, seven days, and uh, uh, we provide a hotfix patch. And uh, uh, I don't know, uh, such kind of uh, uh, bug fix and the code changing should be contributed to the community. Uh, finally, uh, uh, regarding a core developer, we realize uh, uh, customers' needs by OpenStack and uh, uh, other OSS. Uh, regarding a uh, uh, super integrator, we provide OSS-based open cloud infrastructure, which can apply to mission critical system and uh, turning user to uh, super user. Uh, NEC is our uh, headline sponsor, and uh, 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 this NEC cloud system exhibit uh, in our NEC booth. Uh, I appreciate it uh, if you uh, come our uh, booth and. Uh, I, I'm very glad uh, to introduce our solution to you. Thank you. Uh, do you have any question if you uh, have? Ah, yes. Uh, we have evaluated a uh, uh, neutron um, project uh, regarding the uh, Airbus and the uh, FWAS. Uh, uh, we, uh, uh, this is our, uh, our uh, conclusion of this evaluation. Uh, Airbus maybe will be uh, used for uh, production environment, but uh, uh, FBAS, uh, not production level right now. And then uh, we're uh, discussing uh, how to realize uh, such uh, LBAS and uh, FWART type of uh, VNF capability. Uh, as you know, uh, network, uh, we, we try to uh, standardization uh, to manage uh, such VNF. But, I fortunately, network vendor uh, not uh, 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 network vendor uh, need to uh, competitive capability uh, to order as a network vendor. That case, maybe some API and uh, uh, some functions uh, difference for uh, each uh, network vendor. So it's very difficult to uh, just one adapter to manage a multi vendor uh, network uh, uh, function virtualization. So, uh, but uh, as you know, the uh, HC defined uh, this VNF manager capability. Right now, we are focusing, uh, we are uh, watching this VNF manager to manage uh, uh, VNF. Is that the answer for you? Um, so my question was more uh, for firewall. Uh, do you use a third party? Or what exactly do you use? 
uh, VNF manager. Uh, right now, we are uh, evaluating the third party's product. Yes. If Tucker uh, will be useful for this area, definitely uh, we, we, we want to join uh, this community and uh, uh, we want to realize such VNF manager as our OSS. Okay. Open stack upgrade? Yeah, from, from say, Liberty to Ah. So how do you do the... Uh, uh, <laughs> very difficult question. <laughs> uh, as you know, the uh, currently uh, open stack source code increased so far. And then uh, some incompatibility are there. And then uh, some new capability are there. So, uh, current our NEC's approach, uh, we establish one open stack domain, and uh, if uh, you want to uh, adopt a uh, new uh, environment, in that case, we recommend you to establish one more open stack domain. And then, if you want to, uh, don't want to use a previous uh, open stack domain, uh, uh, we recommend you to use V2V migration from previous environment to the new one. If live migration situation, uh, that uh, KVM uh, should be uh, uh, same uh, uh, same control, but uh, if domain will be split, uh, it's very difficult to uh, realize a live migration. That means uh, we recommend you to uh, uh, migrate, cold migration. How about that? Other question? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>